Hey guys, welcome back to another repair video. Today we're gonna to be changing a charging port on the Apollo Air. Let's get into it. The tools you'll need for this are a hot glue gun, some flush cutters, a four millimeter bit, four and three millimeter Allen key or hex keys. We're also gonna be using long nose pliers and a battery drill. First thing we're gonna do here is pull down the kickstand. You're gonna take your three millimeter Allen key. We're gonna to start to loosen up both screws, then we can take the long side, pull them all the way up. These screws are pretty long, so you won't lose them. And after these two parts, you've got it off. Up next, we're gonna flip the scooter over and open up the base. Now what we're gonna do is remove the six screws at the base. We're gonna take four millimeter Allen key and start to unscrew these. You can remove them all with the Allen key, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use a battery drill. We can now put our drill aside and just pull off the cover. We're gonna disconnect the connector is right here under the heat shrink. We're now gonna take flush cutters and open up the heat shrink. Make sure to not cut any wire. That should do the trick. You can cut an opening until you see the red connector inside here. We're gonna hold the other part and just gently pull the connector out like this. Now what we can do is remove all the hot glue from here. I'm gonna use a pair of long nose. We can now remove the rest of the glue. Finish removing our nut. There we go. And now we can push this through to the other side. We can then take our new charging port Insert it back in the hole here. There we go. Take our nut. We can then screw it in. That should do the trick. We will now take a hot glue gun and re-glue this backside together. We can now take our hot glue gun and apply a tad bit of glue all around just to hold the nut in place. That should do it. After the glue has set, we can connect our two wires back together. Make sure the flat part is on top. So we can gently push that back in. That should do it. Now, if you want to, you can tape this up with some electrical tape but we're gonna leave it like this as the hot glue creates a seal around the port and shouldn't let any water in. Now to put the base back on, we're gonna tuck this to the side and just flip the base and gently push. We should see the alignment of the holes with the threading at the bottom. After we've put the base back on, we can screw our six screws back in Make sure to stop right before it ends because we don't want to strip the screws. We'll finish them off with the Allen key afterwards. We can now take our four millimeter Allen key. Make sure these are tight. If you overforce them, you will crack the plastic. So just be careful with that. And there we go. Let's flip it back over. Last step, we'll place our kickstand back on. Your first screw. Make sure to line it in both holes at the end. Take your time here to make sure to not strip the screw. I'm gonna take our Allen key and push it in a bit. After it's started off, take your second screw. Do the same thing. Finish off your second 
and we're just gonna make sure that they're both tight, just like this. Now all that's left to do is plug in your scooter, make sure it charges, and that's how you change a charging port on your Apollo Air. Thanks for watching, guys.